Hey what's going on everybody, my name is HabsFan10 and today I'm bringing you a Call of Duty World at War gameplay commentary. I'm playing a free for all on Courtyard and uh, I'm using the PTRS, Bandolier, Stopping Power and I believe it's Dead Silence because that would make sense for free for all. And um, recently I've decided that Call of Duty Black Ops is pretty much done for me. I can't take using the assault rifles and the SMGs. I've decided that it's just not as fun as sniping. And sniping in Black Ops is frustrating to say the least. I, I don't like it. Call me a quitter. Call me whatever you want. I don't really care because it's not fun. So uh, I have henceforth decided that I'm going to play World at War and Call of Duty 4 pretty much exclusively. Um, Modern Warfare 2, there are still hackers and then there are the problems that were just normally in that game. And I mean, I can hardly get out of a little boxing in World at War, so what am I going to do there? Um, yeah, that was a joke, but whatever. Uh, so if you want to play with me on Call of Duty 4 World at War, because there aren't a whole lot of people playing Call of Duty 4 World at War, um, me and my friend A Drive, he recently bought World at War and got the map packs and stuff. Uh, we're looking for people to play with, that'd be great, because uh, there aren't a whole lot of people who still want to play World at War and Call of Duty 4. So I'm always looking, if you want to play a couple games with me or whatever, hit me up, send me a message on PlayStation, and add me as a friend if there's an open spot, and I'll definitely get around to playing with you. Uh, now next, I want to talk about uh, my montage. I'm still recording for it, uh, not near halfway done, even recording, but I did find an editor. Um, his name is Giakia or Jakia, something like that. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but uh, I haven't really studied the pronunciation of your name. <laughs> um, anyways, he says just to call him JK, and I'm really grateful for him. Uh, he's going to edit my montage for free, which is a big thing. So um, definitely go check out his channel. I'm going to put it in the description below. Um, I, I'm not sure if he's ever edited Call of Duty stuff before, because on his channel, it's just uh, some editing things like I don't even know what I don't even know stuff about editing so it's some some editing stuff and then there's a nice couple of snowboarding videos that he edited called white lines and it's just a lot of sick stuff I, I really like it um, I sub to him so if you uh, go check out his stuff that'd be great sub to him if you like it uh, and yeah that's my montage stuff um, and finally, I'm joining and trying out for Call of Duty 4 competitive sniping clan because I'm not interested in game battles anymore. Uh, it's called Vigorous Valor, and basically, I found it just by looking up Call of Duty 4 PS3 competitive sniping clans. That's a mouthful, but that's what I looked up on YouTube, and a guy had a video posted. And he sounds like a pretty good player, definitely a guy who I'd like to play with. So I sent him a friend invite, and I haven't played with him yet, but uh, I hope I make the clan or become part of it, whatever you want to call it, and that we actually do some competitive sniping matches because I, there is a competitive side to me, and I also love sniping, so it just seems like the perfect combination. And that's definitely something I'm going to look forward to. Um, and that's just about that for gaming. So. I've come to a revelation that uh, my commentaries are probably pretty boring to listen to because I just talk about uh, stuff that I'm doing related to gaming and talk about stuff related to gaming and frankly I've noticed that most people who I like watching or most people, most commentators who I like listening to on YouTube I guess is the best way to describe it talk about stuff that seems to matter or interesting stuff they branch off from the Call of Duty so I'm kind of going to start trying to do that, and uh, today I'm going to give it my first try. Um, as you may or may not have heard in the news, because it's all over the news, uh, in many countries over in, I guess it's, well, Africa, Asia, mainly Asia, I guess, Middle East, um, there are many civilian demonstrations protesting long-time government rulers, and it, they're all coming about at one time mainly because one country stepped up and then the others followed suit. Um, Egypt was a big one. Uh, the president, quote unquote, air quotes, whatever, uh, his name was Mubarak and he was in power for 32 years in Egypt so he was really like a dictator. Um, recently, uh, the public, the civilians of Egypt, uh, put on mass demonstrations, mass protests, and called for his downfall. And just recently, he has actually resigned as president, 
and uh, step down from power, which is a huge victory for, uh, I guess, equality and democracy, fair rights. And uh, I'm thinking that many of these uh, second world, I don't really want to call them third world countries because they do have government and stuff, but these second world countries, I suppose, are stepping up to the plate and realizing that equality, freedom, is the way to go and uh, not to accept the norms that they've been subjected to for the past number of decades. Um, most recently in the news is Libya and their, I'm not sure if he's calling himself a president or prime minister, Gaddafi. Um, anyways, he's basically like a dictator, same sort of thing. He's been ruling a long time, several decades. In Libya and the uh, public have recently stepped up and protested against him and made several demonstrations now what separates uh, Egypt and Libya like what differs between their cases is that well first off uh, Gaddafi hasn't stepped down from power in Libya yet whereas Mubarak did uh, succumb to the public's will in general but um, Gaddafi is also a lunatic at least that's what I'm hearing. Um, many civilians and protesters have been shot and wounded actually by Libya's own army while doing their peaceful protest sort of thing and uh, that raises several eyes among the UN and uh, well democratic countries I suppose and let's just say it's not turning out too well for Gaddafi uh, things aren't looking like they're gonna go too well for him but uh, meanwhile Nothing is uh, really changing in Libya, there's still a lot of conflict, but if all goes well, I suppose, just like in Egypt, the civilians will win, and anyways, that concludes this commentary. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.